This one is too big. This one's too small. This one is just right. In Iran, stoning isn't illegal, but using the wrong size stone is. If it's too big, it'll kill a person in just one or two throws. If it's too small, that's not going to do very much damage. It's got to be just right. A man convicted of adultery would be led to a public square at dawn. His hands will be bound and he would be wrapped in three white shrouds. But for this film, we're going to leave him naked. The judge who passes his sentence throws the first stone. And then the crowd pile in. Every now and then, a doctor will come and check to see if he's still alive. Most people are dead within two hours of the first stone. At least 14 men and women are at risk of death by stoning in Iran right now, even though the vast majority of Iranian people are opposed to stoning. We have a unique opportunity to get this stopped. Right now, the Iranian authorities are deciding whether to get stoning banned. If there's a time to make your voice heard, it's now. Go to amnesty.org.uk slash stoning. Even the best and worst days of your life have one thing in common. They're 24 hours long. And I've spent 6,640 worst days of my life on death row, being tortured and abused, controlled like an animal, when to sleep, when to eat, when to die. The bruises heal, but the mind games remain. It's the worst day of your life. Starting again and again and again. 22 hours a day spent in this cage. Without perspective, without hope. There is only silence. Silence creeps up on you. It gets louder and louder until it screams. How can you stay sane? One man wrapped his bed sheet around him and set himself on fire. Another ate his own eyeball. One man believed that if he ran fast enough, he could break through the wall. I mean, how can you stay sane when all you hear, see, or smell is desperation? Fear. Death. I've seen hundreds of them walk down this hallway for the last time. Some guilty, some innocent. Some weren't ready to go, and others wanted to be killed. Eighteen and a half years of physical imprisonment, but they've never incarcerated my mind. And even the worst day of your life comes to an end. This is my last day. In the beginning of many more. <laughs>